I forgot you're on your own island. <laughs> it's casual. So casual, yeah. It's nice to meet you, Fear. Slater, come on, it's very, very cute. We gotta go. Here we go. I need to be in a place where I can get an umbrella in my drink. Let's go! I guess I'll see you. Did you see that? He was like, to me. <laughs> Another chapter for the memoir, my dear. Yeah, totally. Did you get his number? Of course he didn't. What are you talking about? Like After all? <laughs> hey. Uh, look, uh, I don't want to sound, um, you, you guys want to come? We're back with Channing Tatum. That was a clip from Blink Twice. This is, I love this movie. And I'm very glad, by the way, um, I, the worst thing to show would be a clip that gives much away about this movie because mm. there are so many uh, wonderful twists. And this, most excitingly, is uh, your fiance Zoe Kravitz's uh, directorial debut. And we are talking backstage. But a, a first movie shouldn't look this good. I, no one would ever know if you were like, no, no, she did like two other things and like tried to convince people and they'd be like, yeah, th yeah. that actually makes sense. Uh, I, she's such a nerd for movies. Like she doesn't do anything. We don't, the first thing that she said when we started like getting together was like, I don't do activities. <laughs> like yeah. she, and, I, and I think I laughed exactly. <laughs> I was like, ah, okay. She's like, no, listen to me. I don't hike. I don't. <laughs> do any of that stuff, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then we, and like on a day off, we watch like three or four movies like a day. Like we just love it. The and best thing I will it. say, because uh, again, I think people who really love movies do this uh, thing where when you actually see their movies, it doesn't remind you of anything. Yeah. Like they, they're taking, if they are, if that's what they're doing, like they're taking only little things so that it feels like a whole new style that is unlike anything you've seen 100%. before. Yeah. Uh, this is an idea that she co-wrote the script as well. This has been working on for like six, seven years? Seven years. I think she started writing this seven years ago while she was in London on a movie because she had a lot of downtime on the film. And, and it was called Pussy Island. Uh, yeah. and the, I think the, the original I, draft of the, the original, yeah. The original Great. draft. And I think those were her first two uh, words on yeah. the cover page. Like she didn't yeah. even know exactly what it was going to be about, but she knew it was going to be called that. It's not called that now. It's called, uh, <laughs> like, so seriously. Yeah. Uh, it's called Blink Twice. Um, and I, I just uh, am so in awe of her process because, like, even the first script that I got that I read, I knew that it was, like, wildly bold and taking some of the biggest swings that I've ever even seen. And I don't even think she even really said it out loud that she wanted to direct it. But it was sort of clear to me that, like, she wanted to direct it. And then... The process that she's still been on to date, I mean, literally like two, a, a week ago, we're still talking about creating on this movie. I'm like, you know that the movie's done. <laughs> yeah. Like the movie's done. Like we're like, we're, it's gonna come out. And after the movie's gonna come out this weekend, you know, <laughs> it's not gonna be here in our space anymore. And she just, she's just dogged and relentless. And, and the other I'm thing so that's crazy, of... when we were saying backstage seven years ago, it's so prescient because there are ideas about, uh, you know, Problematic billionaires, empty apologies, Me Too stuff. And it feels like something that somebody had this idea and wrote it in the last month yep. based on how present it feels. And that really says something, you know, outside of uh, uh, the wonderful directing she did, just how good the writing was. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, she was feeling something that was going on in a way that, that you know, she wasn't trying to be like, okay, this is going on in pop culture right now, or you're just in culture in general, and I'm gonna make a movie about it. She had just a feeling of going, I feel like I want to make this, th and she's obsessed with thriller and horror movies, and, and she's like, okay, I'm gonna make something. And when you, when you watch this movie, I guarantee you're gonna be like, this was made from this thing right here, and that thing was made from that thing. And it just wasn't. It was seven years ago this, yeah. this started. And I love the fact that we've done the opposite of everything. You'll see the, you'll see the movie and nothing, not one single like 
character thing of me was ever pulled from any of these nefarious like men in history or anything. And I'm just, uh, you know, I'm really excited for people to see it. I, the, you have this really fully round character and it's uh, fascinating to know it's not based on anyone, but it is based on this idea of person that I feel like we recognize right now. Very and much. there's a, a detail, and again, I, I'm trying so hard not to give anything away, but you are this billionaire who is like on an apology tour and you say something, it made me laugh so hard where you're like, I have chickens now. <laughs> and the amount of like rich people who are like, I've got chickens now, so I'm all good. <laughs> it's such a good detail. It is such a good detail. And the minute it was, it's within the first like two minutes of the movie and I'm like, oh, I'm in good hands. Yeah, you're like, I'm earthy. <laughs> I care for things, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like, self these guys, I'm like, it's more than, you need more than chickens, bro. <laughs> um, anyway, please congratulate her. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Janet Tatum, everyone, Blink Twice is in theaters everywhere this Friday, August 21st. Stick around, be right back. This is Green and Vanessa.